I'm Nika Chung. Welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another Tex Avery vintage cartoon classic, Little Tinker, that debuted in 1948, starring Sarah Berner, Frank Graham, Nick Nelson, Lynn Randolph as the Black Rabbit. She's an actress known for her earliest work in the Marx Brothers, 1939, At the Circus, 1946, It's a Wonderful Life, and 1978, Magic. She's a singer and as well as a voice of Mammy Two Shoes in 19 Tom and Jerry classics between 1940 to 1952, and also introducing Bill Roberts, the uncredited singing voice skunk who also sang for Michigan J. Frog in the Warner Brothers' One Froggy Evening in 1955. This story is about Bo Skunk who's looking for love, but he can't find anyone because he's a skunk and he decides to take advice from Cupid who gives him a book, finds different techniques, and finally does wear a Frank suit and sings to swoo the ladies. Will he find love? Let's find out. This was requested by one of my subscribers. Thank you so much for your request. And just a heads up, you'll be hearing some English and French in this video. This was a very tricky video to find, but it was really worth it. Let's jump right into Lil Tinker. Roll the clip. That's a cute name. Scott Browning does such iconic music scores for cartoons. Like, he's a treasure when it comes to cartoon animation. A lot of fans there. Wow. <laughs> he loves his showers. <laughs> I guess he loves that fragrance. <laughs> oh no, it's killing the flowers. <laughs> He's so cheerful. He's looking for love. Time to make your move, lover boy. <laughs> flowers die as he's with them. <laughs> they can't take the smell. <laughs> No vacancy. I feel sorry for him though. <laughs> wow. Oh dear. <laughs> I feel sorry for him. Don't give up, oh. What's the matter, Captain Oma? Love trouble? Look. <laughs> Well, just follow the simple directions in this book, and you'll have to get a coil. Good luck, <laughs> Romeo. Cupid is so sweet to help him out. Great lover routine. Okay. Ah, oh, ma chérie. Ma chérie. L'amour est une Aw, so romantic. <laughs> oh, my darling. Laisse-moi baiser ta <laughs> Oh my goodness, that's a Pepe the Pew moment! Oh my goodness, poor owl. Either that kiss was good, or the smell just made him pass out. <laughs> that raccoon ain't having it. He smell you. <laughs> Even the fish ran. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Cougar, rabbit. <laughs> wow. Swoon. Okay. Oh, he got the Frankie suit. Much better. Very superb. I wonder what song is he gonna sing for the ladies? Oh, or nothing at all. Oh my goodness, what a voice! He I woke up 100 acre woods. <laughs> never appealed to me. 
if your heart Frankie. never could be <laughs> No, that's <is> bad. <laughs> they love him. He's so thin. <laughs> She loves his voice. Oh my goodness. His gorgeous voice killed her. <laughs> my goodness, you brought life to that tree. She did. <laughs> of your hand makes me weak and my His heart eyes are gorgeous. may grow dizzy and warm. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is kind of giving Bing Cosby a little bit with his voice, but Frank Sinatra. A full combination of both. What's he doing there? <laughs> Are going wild. No, 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 That's a lot of oh my gosh, I have to run. <laughs> Here they come. Oh damn, and I done that. Oh jeez. I feel sorry for him. Don't give up. I yeah, no. Thank goodness he stopped him. Yes, go in disguise. Yes, he must. Wow, that's so fat. He looks exactly like a fox. likes him. I hope this works out for you, Bo. <laughs> they look so cute together. <laughs> oh no. Your identity is going to be revealed. I hope she still likes you. <gasps> what the? A skunk too? Oh my goodness, how adorable. At least they found love. I'm glad you got rid of that book. You don't need no more. <laughs> this was cute. I enjoyed this. I enjoyed this animated short. It was hilarious and cute. All he wanted was love. Nobody in 100 Acre Woods would give him the chance, but I'm glad Cupid helped him out and was there for him when each attempt flopped. He has an amazing voice with the blue eyes his voice reminded me of Sinatra, but the blue eyes and the singing expression was also kind of giving me Bing Cosby vibes. I did notice a few references. The way Bo was kissing the lady squirrel and the branch tree with his eyes closed, that was a Pepe Le Pew moment there I noticed. And the girl bunnies using a red hammer similar to Red Hot Riding Hood scene when the wolf was watching the performance. That was hilarious. <laughs> I'm glad the skunk found his match. Wait till she hears him sing, oh my goodness. If I heard a Sinatra or a Crosby voice singing at my restaurant, i leave my dessert station to watch, but I'll make sure to bring a marble chocolate brownie to him. <laughs> Honestly, I would love to see Tex Avery's cartoons come to life on the big screen. Something like a live animation, that would be so cool. That's just my opinion though, but you never know, it could happen. And what did you guys think about this animated short? Let me know in the comments below. I'm your host, Ainika Chung, and I'll see you next time on my next music and film review. Love yourself always, and remember, be excellent to each other. All right, guys, see you in the next picture. Cheers. That's all, folks. Nice to meet you.
voices.